In this chapter we're going to take a look at how to install Ruby and Rails on a variety of systems. We'll also point you to the various documentation for systems such as RVM and Rails Installer on how to get set up to build Rails applications. So we'll take a look at how we can install Ruby and Rails on the various platforms. First of all, railsinstaller.org run by a company called Engine Yard provide a single executable installation which will install all of this all the various dependencies that you need to work with Ruby and Rails on a Windows platform. You'll see that it's also available for Mac OS X. For Mac and Unix based operating systems though the very best option to go for is RVM and I'm going to demonstrate now how we can install Ruby and Rails with RVM on an Ubuntu, a clean Ubuntu installation. So the command we need is this one here. What happens is it'll install all the dependencies that RVM needs to run and it'll also install Ruby currently version 2. Uh, the gem for Rails will install afterwards. So we need to drop into terminal and run that command. So when the process completes, you'll be prompted with this command to run here. Effectively what this does is it makes sure that your terminal window and terminal itself is aware of the installation that you've just performed. Once you've run the command, then we should be able to see that Ruby is now installed by checking the version. And we can see there that it is the very latest version. To install Rails, ordinarily you would just do gem install Rails. Notice that there's no need for sudo at that stage. You shouldn't need to install the gems for RVM as a super user. However, at the time of recording, Rails is still or Rails 4 is still a release candidate, so we need to use a slightly different command, which is this one here. Effectively, the only difference is that we are specifying a very specific version, the release candidate, and at the moment, because the documentation isn't complete for the release, we're better off ignoring the documentation for the individual gem. So once the process completes, you'll see that RVM has installed all of the necessary gems to make Rails work. And we can confirm that we've got those gems installed correctly with gem list. And of course, we should now also be able to check our Rails version shows Rails 4. OK, so now we have Ruby version 2 and Rails version 4 installed so we can get cracking with the app itself.